Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn on how to make a loading bar in Canva. So first is you have to open your Canva application on your device. And here at the top, you will then just have to type out or search for a video. So just click on the search bar and then type out video. And then just click on the video with the icon. So this one. And right here, you just have to select this blank page or this one with the plus icon at the center. And you will see this page. Now you just have to add elements. So just click on the elements options at the bottom left. And right here, using the search bar at the top, you just have to type out rounded rectangle. So just type out rounded rectangle and click on it. Then once you've done that, you'd be able to see the shapes. So you just have to click on the first one. So this one, you'd be able to see that the corners are rounded. So you just have to click on it. Now you just have to zoom it out. Now you just have to click on it and then just have to place it at the top. So make sure that it is still on the center. Now you can resize this to your right or to your left. And then you can adjust the height of this as well. Okay, now that you have done that, you will then just have to click on the color. And then you will then just have to select the transparent. Okay, so just click on this icon. Then once you've done that, the color will be removed. And then just click on the X icon. Now you just have to click on the style. And right here, you can adjust the border weight as well as the corner rounding. So you just have to select the second one and then adjust the border weight to 75 and then the corner rounding to 100%. Now just click on the X icon and right here, you just have to click on the duplicate button. And as you can see, we have now two copies of the border that we have created. So now you just have to drag this below and then click on the color. And then for the second one, we have to select a color. So you can choose different color and then click on the X icon. Right here, just go to the style again and just click on the no border button. So this icon. And then you just have to adjust the corner rounding. So you just have to drag this till you reach 38, I mean. And then once you're done, you'll then just have to click on the X icon. And then right here, you just have to adjust the size of this one. So just drag this and then you can go to the corner or edges as well. And then adjust the size. Okay, now the next thing that you should do is you have to overlap this to the other one. So to do that is you just have to click on it and then adjust it and then make sure to overlap the edge of your frames. Now you just have to click on the first frame that you have created and at the bottom, you just have to swipe to your right until you can see the option where it says position. And then just click on it. And right here, you will then just have to select the forward options. You just have to click on it. Then once you've done, you just have to click on the X icon. Okay, now the next thing that you should do is you have to find the animation section. So just click on it. And then you just have to select the create option. So just swipe to your right until you can see the create option. So just click on it. Okay, and then after that, you will then just have to select and drag an element around the canvas to create your own animation. Okay, so you just have to do that. And then once you're done, you then just have to click on this color frame. Okay, and then you'd be able to see now the changes. And then right here, you will then just have to go to the original. And then after that, just click on the study option. Okay, so you can now see the difference. And then go here in the speed so you can adjust the speed and try to play it to see the difference. So you have to make sure that you have the perfect speed for this loading bar. Now just click on done. And then once you're here, you will then just have to click on this section. Okay, this X icon. 
here you just have to select the elements and then you just have to select the search bar at the top and then you just have to type out square so just click on square and once you're done you'd be directed to this shape section so make sure to select the square and then right here you have successfully added it to your page now you just have to zoom it out again and then you have to adjust or drag this square shape okay so you can go and adjust the corner and then after that you will then just have to close it and then here you just have to select it again and then go to the color now you just have to make sure that you are going to select the white color okay that's right and then you just have to click on the x icon now that you have done that you will then just have to select the square again and then drag it over here okay so the next thing that you should do is you have to go to the bottom options so this one and then you just have to swipe to your right until you can see the position option so you just have to click on it and then make sure you are going to click on the option where it says backward okay that's right and then after that you will then just have to click on the x icon now that you're here you will then just have to click on this section okay the x icon and then here finally you can now click on the elements again and then using the search bar at the top you just type out loading okay so using the search bar just type out loading and then select this one and then you can choose different options right here so you've got free loading graphics or you can also subscribe to a pro plan if you want to use the pro version of this uh, graphics okay so now i'm going to use this free one you just have to click on it and it will be added to your page now you just have to resize this and then you have to drag it and put it right here so take note that you can choose any of the loading graphics so now let's try to play our loading bar video so as you can see we have successfully created a very simple loading bar using canva so take note that you can choose any color any graphics and it can adjust the border weight if you want to so i think that's it if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave a comment below bye